Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and the subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. All right. So this one says uh, the biggest issue I have when I see women around is my inability to actually socialize with them. I have overcome the obstacle of going up to women cold and trying to get a number, but I am lacking in the ability to engage in small talk. For example, there is a girl at a coffee shop right now that works there that's who seems interested in me. And besides, hey, what's up? I have not said a word to her. Uh, the, these are the type of warm opportunities that I need to take advantage of, and I'm fucking up big time. I hate myself for it because... It's right there in front of me, and I don't take advantage of it. Um, I appear like an antisocial quiet guy who doesn't talk, but the reality is I am social, and I do talk, but I operate on autopilot in these environments. Um, why, I honestly don't know. I don't understand this behavior myself. Uh, please psychoanalyze me from your viewpoint as a dating coach and tell me why I do this and how I can snap out of it. I want to hook up with women and I have begun to approach them to get something happening, but it seems I have the mindset of not putting effort into engaging in small talk before I uh, go for the close. Um, I want to snap out of this. Please provide feedback. Also, what do I say when I approach? All right, so um, this is kind of confusing to me a little bit because you said, you know, I have overcome the obstacle of going up to women cold and trying to get their number. Um, and, but then you're also saying like, you know, what do I say to women when I approach? Um, and then you're saying that you're not really good at the small talk. So, you know, so what are you saying when you actually, um, are going up to women and trying to get their number? You know, it's like, I don't understand like exactly what's going on because, you know, I know there's some situations where you don't necessarily need to do small talk and you can get a chick's number. And if, if that's working for you, then, you know, like do that but i'm guessing you're saying that you're still having an issue with the whole small talk thing or just you know um engaging in you know just some regular type of talk and regular type of back and forth you know communication so let's you know i guess focus on that right see the thing with small talk is this is that you know when you're having small talk with a chick it's not it's really just you and her talking basically about anything you understand it's not anything that needs to um be anything extravagant it's a lot of times it's just usually the the warm-up the introduction of the situation where you guys are just going back and forth and just talking about some regular shit right um so the thing is is that when you're having small talk it's just about you you know talking about either something in the situation that you observe or you know asking her about herself you know in, in certain situations so you know um let's say if you're at a party and you talk to a girl and you have a small talk. You're just like, hey, what's up? How you doing? What's your name? Oh, my name is so-and-so. You know, how'd you hear about this party? And, you know, who do you know here? Like, you know, little little shit like that. It's not really anything like, you know, <laughs> that difficult, right? And, you know, another thing I wanted to point out is, you know, when you guys are uh, interacting with chicks, you need to understand the situation you're actually in um, in order to make the, you know, the interaction more beneficial for you in order to make the situation go more smoothly. So what I'm saying is when I talk about, you know, understanding the situation you're in, right? For example, you know, you said that there's a girl at a coffee shop right now that works there who seems interested in you, right? Now, what situation is that? What are you, what's the, what's happening in this, this situation? Now you're at a coffee shop and this girl works there. So you got to understand if a chick works someplace, she might be, you know, being nice to you because she works there. So you, 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 you're probably misinterpreting her niceness for interest. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And now you think she's interested in you. Um, so you just got to, you know, look out for that. But what I really wanted to, you know, uh, uh, like uh, talk about as far as the situation goes is that the fact that she does work there and you're talking about having small talk, you know, in those situations, it's going to be hard to really have a lot of small talk in that situation because she works there. You see what I'm saying? So in this situation, it's not necessarily that you can't have small talk, but it's the way that you 
have the small talk if you want to have small talk in that situation that is going to, uh, you know, determine if the situation is going to go smoothly. So, for example, I remember I was um, going to get movie tickets at the theater or whatever, right? So, I go up to the booth or whatever, and there was nobody, like, even behind me in the line. There was no one online. It was just me. I roll, I roll up on the booth or whatever, and there was this chick, you know, real cute chick or whatever. And I was like, yo, let me get, you know, uh, two tickets for whatever, right? So, I get the tickets, and then she's she said something. She's like, oh, you know, uh, I forgot exactly what she said, but when she talked, I heard that she had an accent. So I was like, yo, that's a, a, a really nice accent. Where you know, where are you from? You understand? And so she was like, Oh, I'm from Australia, this and this and that. And so right there, that's small talk. You see what I'm saying? And then so right after that, I was like, you know, hey, listen, you know, you you kind of cute. Here's my card, right? I just slid her my card, right? And I was like, yo, text me tonight. Right. And so basically, you know, I just did it real quick because I know she's working. Um, you know, I know there's going to be probably more people on the line in, in a few minutes or whatever. So I'm not going to sit in there and have small talk for like 10 minutes or whatever. I'm not going to like go in and do a whole bunch of extra shit because I understand the situation I'm in. And then therefore the situation is going to let me know how, you know, how I should go about this. I got to do this quickly. Right. So yeah, I could do the small talk, but I got to do this, you know, quickly. So the thing is what I want to, what I want to point out is, It's not necessarily worrying about just small talk or worrying about, you know, guys that be like, oh, you know, you got to talk to women and and build rapport and all this other stuff and yada, yada, yada. It's more so understanding what's going on and then, you know, doing the, the, the best option in that situation as far as communication goes to get to the point where you could close the deal and make something happen. Right. Like I remember one time I was walking out of a bar. And I, as I was walking out and I was actually like leaving because I was on my way to a, a, a interview, whatever. So I was like basically like, you know, rushing out of there because I was like, I got to get in this cab and bounce. Right. So as I'm walking out the bar, there's this bad chick that's walking in the bar with her friend. Right. So as I'm walking out the bar and I'm like almost about to pass her because I see her walking in, I'm about to walk out. And as I'm passing, I was like, yo, hold on, hold on. I was like, wait, how are you going to come in here as I'm leaving? That's not cool, man. I was like, listen, you know, you got to take my number down. Here's my, here's my card, you know, um, hit me up, you know, um, later tonight at this time, whatever, or later tomorrow, whatever. I can't remember exactly what I said. Right. So I gave her the card and she hit me up right now. There was no small talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There was, you know, I just basically gave it a card and say, yo, hit me up. Right. But see. I was, I understood the situation I was in, in the situation, I didn't have time to really do much, but get her the information so that she can holler at me later. You understand? So a lot of times in a game, you know, you guys are thinking, you know, uh, too much of, oh, I got to do it this way, that way. And then that way I got to talk to her for, for this amount of time. And then I got to do it. No, it's like, yo, figure out what's happening in the moment, in the situation you're in. And then use the best, you know, uh, 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 you know, course of action and then make the shit happen. You see what I'm saying? So it's not necessarily because you're talking about small talk and everything. It's not necessarily just, you know, you um, thinking about, oh, I got to, you know, um, have small talk. Like, yeah, you, you know, you could practice um, your small talking skills and that's cool to have. Right. But the thing is. You got to really, the, the, what's more important is understanding the situations that you're in and then using the best course of action in those situations. You understand? And a lot of times, sometimes, you know, based on the situation you're in, it's going to, you know, let you know, okay, well, look, I'm at a party, I'm chilling. So I got more time to um, have a conversation with this woman if I want. But if I'm walking in the street, And, you know, you're on your way somewhere and this girl's on her way somewhere. Okay, well, I could approach her and talk, but, you know, I don't really got that much time and she's probably, you know, on her way somewhere. So let me try to do this quickly. You understand? Now, in certain situations in the street, you know, a girl will probably stop and y'all could talk and doing all this stuff. But in a lot of cases, you know, it might not be that uh, feasible to make it happen. You understand? You might be in a situation where you're, uh, you know 
just in an elevator or some shit. You feel what I'm saying with a girl? And, you know, you only got a limited amount of time to really make something happen. Right? So, you know, it all depends on the situation you're in. And then you move accordingly. So that's that's really what I wanted to, to, to understand about this. Right? Because sometimes, you know, there might not be enough time for uh, the small talk. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I remember one time there was this chick. I was walking by and this chick was, uh, you know, flagging down a cab. And as, as, you know, as she flagged down the cab, the cab was like pulling up. And I took, you know, I just took out my card and I say, yo, miss, real quick, you know, take my card, hit me up, you know. And she actually like, that's all I said to her. <laughs> I say, yo, here's my card. Call me. That was it. And then, you know, and the thing was, when she got into the cab, she had texted me, um, you know, when she was in the cab. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that, you know, and, and this is why you guys should get cards, because, you know, going to be no situations where it's going to be, you know, you got to do the shit quick. Right. So, you know, again, work on the small talk, you know, but also what's even more important is understanding the situations that you're in, in order to, you know, make the best moves, you understand, because I don't want you to think it's just about you, like, having to do this formula of, oh, I approach a girl, then I got a small talk with her for five minutes, and then I got to do this, and then I got to do that, it's like, nah, just do what you have to do in in each situation uh, that's going to, you know, best, um, you know, is going gonna, gonna to benefit you in a way to really get you from point A to point B. You understand? So that's pretty much it. Listen, if you guys have any more questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, make sure you click the link below to get the Mr. Locario 30 minute game session. Now, this is a private one on one coaching session between me and you where we chop up game for a half an hour. So make sure you click that link below to get the Mr. Locario 30 minute game session. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.